We produce more natural gas than ever before. And nearly everyone's energy bill is lower because of it. Because we know that natural gas is, is part of the future of this country. The natural gas boom has led to cleaner power and greater energy independence. Uh, you can have your cake and eat it too. I think it's a false choice to say either you develop uh, natural gas and oil in the United States with hydraulic fracking, horizontal drilling, and, and live with the uh, environmental consequences, or you stop it uh, because of the environmental consequences. You can, you, can, you can develop an environmentally safe way. It not only can provide safe, cheap power, but it, it can also help reduce our carbon emissions. Fracking has been an important tool in the toolbox for oil and gas for uh, over 50 years. And uh, some of the new techniques that are being used actually reduce the amount of footprint on the surface acreage in order to address uh, and um, recover oil and gas from a much larger area. So this is an important tool. A great place to start is with natural gas. Some of you may not have uh, been following this, but because of new technologies, because we can now access natural gas that we couldn't access before in an economic way, we've got a supply of natural gas under our feet that can last America nearly a hundred years. Nearly a hundred years. In no case have we made a definitive determination that the fracking process has caused chemicals to enter groundwater. My point of view, based on my own study of hydraulic fracking, is that it can be done safely and has been done safely in uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of times. The experts believe it could support more than 600,000 jobs by the end of the decade. We, it turns out, are the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. We've got a lot of it. We've got a lot of it. I've said that I think the issues uh, in terms of the environmental footprint of uh, hydraulic fracturing production uh, are manageable. I am not aware of any proven case where the fracking process itself has affected water. We've got to take advantage of this incredible natural resource. And think about what could happen if we do. Think about an America where more cars and trucks are running on domestic natural gas than on foreign oil.